Welcome back to SQL Mesh Pros, another video today. Today, it's not a SQL tutorial, rather some internals about SQL Server. And this video is motivated by one of the questions I saw on the forum, where the user was trying to put up two queries, one with a predicate and one without a predicate. So let's say when the user was selecting from a table with an order by clause and no predicate, the optimizer was applying a sort operator. And when the user changed that query by including a predicate and the order by clause was still there, uh, the optimizer decided not to put a sort operator and thereby a question from the user as to why this is happening. So I have created um, an academic prototype of it and here it is, let's get started. We're using AdventureWorks 2016 and let's go and look at this first query. We are retrieving two attributes, last name and first name from a table called person.person .person, and order by first name. A very simple query where we want all the data from this table person.person, .person. there is no predicate and we are ordering by first name. Make sure include actual execution plan is turned on. Uh, you can use the toolbar or press control M and we get the data. Let's jump over to the execution plan and you can see that the optimizer is applying a sort operator. Let's not worry about the cost of the sort operator. In many cases, you will see sort being expensive and of course, more the data, more expensive it is. And we'll talk about fixing sorts in some other video, but let's focus on the next part of this query. Also, when I show you the execution plan here, you can see that there is an index scan happening uh, and that's a non-clustered index scan on an index. And look at the name there, I X person last name. And what I understand is probably this is an index with last name, first name and middle name. We'll talk about that in a while. Now, we take this next query, the second one, which is similar to the first one. The only difference is now there is a predicate here. We say where last name is equal to Adams and note the order by clause is still there. Let's go and execute this one. We get the data and jump over to the execution plan. And now there is no sort operator. So this was the question. Why is it happening this way? One of the conclusions uh, that was being inferred that, okay, are we applying some predicate and that is a way to get rid of the sort operator? No, absolutely not. So I went one step further and I have in, uh, put up another version of the query, same, but this time I just changed the operator. Instead of equality operator, I am now using a like operator. Rest of the query is same. And most importantly, there is still an order by clause. Let's go and execute this one and see Having a predicate, does it make a difference? So let's go and execute this and you get the data out. Let's jump over to the execution plan and now you see a sort operator. So what is going on? I mean, when we don't have a predicate, um, there is no, uh, there is a sort operator, but when we have a where clause with equality predicate, then there is no sort operator. But when we use something like a like operator, again back there is um, uh, a sort operator. So the idea is let's go and understand this index structure and I want, I also want to point out in all of these examples that we have been seeing these three queries, SQL Server is fetching all of its data from an index. So in the last two queries, uh, the one with the predicate where last name like a percent and where last name is equal to Adams, in these two versions, the optimizer decided to do an index seek. And if you recollect on the, in the first one, when we didn't have any predicate, the optimizer decided to do an index scan. Now, this uh, video is not about scan versus seek, but why did the sort order vanish here in the second uh, query with the equality operator? To understand this, let's just understand how the index data is laid out, remember? In all the three executions here, SQL Server is not going to the base table. All the data that it wants, it's fetching it from the non-clustered index precisely because the two attributes, last name and first name, both of them are available in the non-clustered index. So to understand this, let's just go and understand how the index data is laid out. Now, what's the index? I'm just going to take this uh, one last name, comma, first name, and jump over to the execution plan and show you the object one more time. So this is the object, ix person, last name, first name, and middle name. So this is a multi-column 
composite index with three columns last name comma first name comma middle name and you might already know the order of columns are very very critical and very important last name comma first name is not the same as first name comma last name so this is the structure of the index so what i did here was i simply wanted to select all the three columns last name comma first name comma middle name order by last name first name middle name this is exactly how the index data is laid down in the non clustered index structure now let's try to understand why do you see sort operators sometimes and not other times so the first query let's go to the first query the first query said give me all the data order by first name now here is all the data in the index and you want it to be sorted by first name now remember there's no predicate here so sql server has nothing to do with last name all it has to do is it wants two columns last name and first name both of them are available in the non clustered index so just go and fetch the entire data which is like 19000 rows and then sort them by first name now when you look at the first name data remember the non clustered index has last name as the first column so the index data this is the index data that you are seeing here let me pull this up a bit and you will see the data is sorted by last name so you can see very nicely laid down a and then if you keep scrolling down let's take the scroll bar here and then you can see b and then c and then d so on and so forth so all the data is sorted by last name so this is data sorted by last name comma first name now forget last name for the moment look at first name only s and then k and then h and then p and then a is the data sorted by first name no the data is sorted by last name but not by first name so when you tell the optimizer give me all the data sort by first name obviously sql server has to fetch all the data and then do an in memory sort and uh, sort the data on first name attribute and that is why it applies a sort operator this was easy and quite understandable but what's important here is and a little tricky is when we say where last name is equal to Adams and this is what got the user baffled is when we put this predicate where last name is equal to Adams why is the uh, why is the optimizer not applying a sort operator so let's go and look at this data Adams also uh, there's something about scan and seek here a bit then I'll talk about that but let's go and look into Adams data let's pull this up a bit more okay here we are with Adams now if you look at the Adams data here which is the data grouped by Adams because the data is sorted by last name so you see all the atoms together and inside atoms look at the data a and then b and then c and then c and then d and then e so on and so forth is the data sorted by first name inside the group atoms yes it is so sql server need not apply a sort operator to sort the data when it has to fetch only a group of data filtered by the first column on which the data is already sorted so if you are putting your predicate on the attribute which is last name and the index data is sorted by that and provided it is an equality operator there will be no need to sort so it really all depends on the kind of data you're trying to fetch and what is your operator what's the predicate uh, that you are using now what about when we use the like operator so of course when you say last name like a percent now this is quite understandable and you know what i'm trying to do here is all the data filter by where a percent is so there's a wildcard character there and if you look at this data this this is all beginning with a and you can clearly see i'm going to fetch all of these data again the first name and they are not sorted so depending on the operator that you are using SQL optimizer will automatically figure out if the first name is already sorted or not sorted and if it is already sorted there's no need to apply a sort operator and if it is not sorted it will apply a sort operator and a small catch again because the last two queries here where you have the predicate SQL server is deploying a seek operation so it goes uh, it uses uh, jumps over from the root to the intermediate page and to the leaf level directly pointing to the data that you want to fetch and start scanning from there so remember the data is sorted and laid down by last name comma first name comma middle name in this example i just ignored middle name um, because we were focusing only on last name and first name okay so the summary here is 
it all depends on your predicate and what is the kind of data you are trying to fetch. Equality operator here seems to be one of the exceptions where the data, uh, when you say last name equal to something, you are fetching exactly the data that you want and, and there's only one uh, predicate value there, one literal, which is Adams and uh, the data with Adams as, as one of the groups is already pre-sorted. Um, and that's how this multi-level sort and multi-level column indexing works. Ooh, hope this was uh, clear and yeah, a lot of internal stuff and there are there are many such tricky things inside SQL Server and yeah, you can always run such scripts to figure out how things are laid down and how things work. But yeah, interesting question. Hope you like the video. Uh, do subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon so that you get notifications and do share the video with your colleagues and friends. What else? You can become a member on sqlmaestros.com for free and access to all the scripts, uh, all the learning resources that we have available on the website. Hope you like the video. Talk to you soon.